Greetings, greetings, deception stoppers here. All constitutional rights invoked now way for this video. We've had a quite a bit of few uh, new viewers to come along. And uh, we want to say thank you for uh, coming along into the new video. But um, what we would like to address in this video today is we would like to address the... Uh, the further abuse of the 14th Amendment and due process, okay? Um, now, as you know, uh, we have been going through some legal proceedings in various different courts in the state of Ohio. Now, um, what we have come to uh, understand is a lot of the uh, institutions in that state, uh, as far as the uh, courts where you would get your rights adjudicated or uh, file claims are uh, bureaucracies um, and so we're dealing with uh, bureaucrats that are uh, selectively <coughs> deciding what they want to do uh, with no legal basis whatsoever as it relates to the United States Constitution. Now um, we, are, we have been waiting for a decision for uh, the uh, for uh, Moses's divorce that uh, that was filed almost a year ago. In three months, it'll be a year ago. The new divorce case was filed in April of 2018. So in another three months, that'll be a year. This is just getting out of hand. This is ridiculous. What they're doing is they're doing this. We have a number of different cases. We also have cases in Columbus that, uh, that no decision have been made on those on those cases now those cases have been in the appeals court for more than six months for more than six months and still no decision on it okay now um, the reason why is they know that uh, all of their decisions have to pretty much be parallel okay now they're not gonna make a decision on one case without making a decision on the other because they don't want it to contradict each other, okay? So what they're doing is, it's believed that they're waiting. They're trying to wait to see what the United States Supreme Court is gonna do about uh, the uh, situation with uh, Judge Kim Elena Brown, okay? So they're, they're, they're further stalling and they're further um, violating the Constitution and they're violating uh, the state courts are violating the uh, Ohio Constitution. Now, um, Judge Kim A. Brown and uh, Magistrate Brian K. Elliott, their attorney uh, that represents them, her name is Amy Hires. Amy Hires with the, uh, and she actually works for the Ron O'Brien Prosecutor's Office in Columbus, Ohio. Now, this lady, you know, it's very sad because she didn't have anything to say. Bless Amy's poor heart. She's in the uh, she's she's in a bad situation because she has to represent these crooks. And um, she had nothing to say. She had nothing to say for what they did. Now, she works in a prosecutor's office, an office that are prosecuting people probably every day for criminal activity. And she works in that prosecutor's office, and she's the attorney that represents Judge Kim Elena Brown. Now, um, personally, you know, uh, Amy has not, uh, you know, she has not demonstrated any type of disrespect towards myself or anything like that. But it's just very pitiful that she has to be put in a position to represent these crooks because she totally waived their reply to the United States Supreme Court. They waived their reply. They put in a waiver. I'm going to be showing you guys that. They put in a waiver, which pretty much they didn't have anything to say about any of the things that was done. And they also, uh, in the circuit court, which the court, which that was the court we were in before we got to the Sup United States Supreme Court, we were in the Sixth Circuit Court located in Cincinnati, Ohio. And it is it, it is it is a cry and shame because in that court, she was not able to respond for the uh, motion for the injunction. And that went unopposed. They, they, they helped and they had to she had to get help from them. They had to help her. So when she had one more day to respond. But before that day was up, they went on ahead and put an order in and ended both and ended the cases in their entirety. 
okay because they know that these people are not working they are all taking orders we see it clear as day they're puppets. they're puppets okay and, and bless amy's little heart you know what i'm saying she's put into a situation where she has to defend these crooks because she has bureaucrats that's pressing her okay and and and, and their bureaucratic gang <laughs> has uh you know, they have been protecting each other. So, you know, this is going to be really broken up here because we don't have people following no policies. We have a bunch of people that's just doing what they want to do. And that's why everything is not making any sense. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the, the, the case dockets for all the different cases. And I'm going to show you guys uh all of the the dates that the cases were filed and going to show you that they're not putting no order out because they need everything to 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 purport that it is uh judicial uh judicial proceedings when it's not it's people taking orders <laughs> and it's people doing all of this behind the scenes stuff that we know all about that we're going to drop the we're going to drop the bomb on all of this shit we're going to drop the bomb on all of this shit. We're going to provide evidence. We're going to provide pictures. We're going to provide everything. We're going to blow they fucking spot up. You know, because they really, really, they met, they match. They really met, they match. This is what they've been doing to people. So all of these people out here who've been thinking that they've been getting justice or, 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 or thinking, oh, let me go and let me go file this lawsuit. Well, you know, you have a group of people. In Ohio, we can speak for you. We have a they, there's a group of people that are behind the scenes that are telling these people what to do. Now, unfortunately, these people have to answer to a higher authority and they have to put their names on the line. So they're forced to violate the Constitution. But we're going to put we're going to uh, we're going to call them out. We're going to call them out. We're going to put Ulsa office in uh, online. We're going to put rulings online and we're going to show. We're gonna we, nothing you can do. We're gonna show. We're gonna show them just just how much of a game they've been playing. But we we in there with you. We 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 right on your we right on their asses, okay. So every move they make and every dance they shake, we right there. We we right there. We right there. We right there on them, and we don't get tired. We don't get tired. This is just more and more and more and more and more more evidence that the civil conspiracy is going on okay now these people are forced like i said they're forced to answer to a higher power and they have to do as they're told or or or, or they'll be going through the same thing we're going through okay losing their jobs you know getting accused of things that didn't happen to them you know, probably getting falsely accused of sexual assault or something like that. You see what I mean? Because that's the new weapon. That's the new weapon. All right. So, you know, we're on to it. And uh, again, you know, as you guys seen, Moses, he went to an oral argument downtown in the uh, Ninth District uh, Court of Appeals in Summit County. And he went before Judge Teodosio, Judge Callahan, and I believe Judge Carr. And as you've seen, you know, they didn't have any questions. They didn't have any questions for him because they know he's right. Okay? They know he knows what he's talking about. They know, they know that he's entitled to a prompt decision. Okay? And he's not getting a prompt decision. So, so they're, they are, excuse me, they are violating right now. But we're waiting for them to put their ruling out. We're going to see what they're made of. And see if they're or see if they uh, are, are going to be operating within the parameters of their oath of office. All right. All right. And, and, and if they're not, then all of these matters will fall on Maureen O'Connor's lap. And she'll have a big pile of mess that she has to answer for. She'll have a big pile of mess she has to clean up. OK, and this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Who do these people work for? <laughs> Who do these people work for? OK, because they damn sure don't work for the people. They damn sure don't work for the people. So who are they? We need to find out who are they working for? Who are they? I want to I want to know. the. I want to know who the hell are these people working for. I want to know who they are taking their highest orders from, because this shit is this is some bullshit. Hmm. 
You know, this is some bullshit. And this is what we, <coughs> me and my brother here, we represent millions of people that this is being done to. Then they don't have the time to fight like we do. They don't have the brains to fight like we do. They don't have the endurance to fight like we do. OK, we're going to open these people up, man, because this is an, enough is enough. Enough is enough. They're just creating more and more lawsuits within lawsuits, lawsuits within lawsuits, okay? And that is why it's important that this Deception Stoppers channel had to be made. This had to be made. You actually, you actually have the, the panel judges, panel judges from the Sixth Circuit, uh, from the Sixth Circuit BAP division, the, the, uh, the uh, bankruptcy appellate panel, you actually have them responding to these videos in a court order. They're actually coming onto the channel, watching the videos, and they're responding to it in the court <laughs> order. Come <laughs> on. Don't respond to the video. Respond to the motherfucking paperwork. Respond to the paperwork. These people are unbelievable. 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 So, again, we just wanted to uh, make this video to go ahead and put it out there of what these people are doing. Like I said, we are, we're we're on their behinds. We're we going to be on their heinies. And we have hundreds of other people that are on their heinies. Okay? So, um, what this video is going to turn into, because this video is going to change over. And this video is going to change over and it's going to show. I'm going to show the documents. I'm going to show the uh the 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 uh the dockets the court dockets of these proceedings i'm going to show that and i'm going to show you all how they're stalling all right because one court can't make a decision without the other court making a decision because they have to play it along and make it look like that they're really working and that they're really doing something but they're not they're sitting back waiting on the united states supreme court now, the United States Supreme Court hasn't rendered, rendered their decision, you know, they haven't rendered their decision, but they're they are going to be meeting. They're going to be meeting tomorrow. They're going to be meeting tomorrow and having a conference about our case. So, um, yeah, they're waiting on that. The, the, that's that's what they're that's what they're waiting on. You see what I mean? And we know we know we know about it all. But again, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this video over, video over, into a screen capture video, and then um, I'll have you guys uh, follow along from there. Thank you for tuning in, and stay tuned.